What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you some GLS content today, specifically GLG. We also stream here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, so I want to talk about packs today because packs are still on sale. We are approaching one week that the first presale, so remember there's going to be two presales, presale one and presale two. We are uh, about a week in, uh, no, I guess we're about five days into the first pre-sale. Tuesday will be a full week, and we have sold just over 40% of packs. So 500,000 is what has been allocated for this first pre-sale, and then there'll be another 500,000 later. Um, so what I want to talk about is, is it worth it? Should you do it? And not financial advice, because this is not financial advice, even though we're going to talk about some interesting numbers here. But I do want to I do want to frame this in a way where I think it could be, again, more so not an investment, but kind of like a cash back if you think about it, right? So if you're buying with your favorite credit card or something that offers you some type of rewards, that's how you can look at it. So there's still packs available, and uh, I have not bought any. You can see my collection still has zero, but I am planning to buy some. And again, I am waiting to see if they're going to go on the secondary market. So if you know when they're going to drop on the secondary market, please do let me know. But I wonder if maybe they're going to not allow these to drop on the secondary market for now and just wait until, I don't know, maybe the first pre-sale is over, the second pre-sale is over. That way, people like myself who want to buy them cheaper than $5 a pack won't get the benefit of, uh, of, of buying and staking the packs because it doesn't matter who is who bought the packs. It matters who is staking the packs, so who is currently holding them. So... If they're not going to go on the secondary market right away, then I'll probably go and just at least buy a couple. Now, here's the numbers that I want to share with you and get your feedback on uh, because the math doesn't look terrible. Now, uh, I put this into a nice little, uh, well, let's see, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit here. Let's go to 125. Perfect. Okay. So you got 7.5 million GLX that is dedicated for pre-sale one. Now that means that let's say all 500,000 packs sell out, then 7.5 million is going to be split between all of those 500,000 packs. And we're going to, for this, the purposes of this, we are going to assume that both pre-sale one and pre-sale two sell out at some point. So if that is the case, you're going to have uh, 500,000 uh, packs that will each get 15 GLX tokens, all right? And you're guaranteed to get that as long as you're staking your packs when they tell you to stake your packs. The presale, the second presale is going to offer the same thing, another 7.5 million tokens, and that is going to be for, um, but that is going to be across the 1 million packs. So the first 500,000 plus the second 500,000. So all in all, let's say you buy something in the first presale now. You are set to get 22.5 GLX tokens. So you buy a pack for five bucks, and I just wanted to see what does this look like based on the prices that GLX could go. So at the very worst, and of course, it could always be worse, but at the at the bottom of the barrel here, I'm going to put, let's say, GLX goes to a penny, right? And keep in mind, we can go much lower than a penny. The project can go to zero. So again, do your own research and, and be aware of the risks here. But uh, I'm, I'm confident in it and I want to at least put a floor of one cent because I know if GLX goes to a penny, I'll probably be buying some just off the secondary market. Uh, so if that happens, well, then you're going to get 23 cents or 22 and a half cents across the board, which is about a four and a half percent return, or as I was saying earlier, four and a half percent cash back. Now, let's say you bought this with a credit card or through PayPal or something, and you might get like a, you know, one, two, three percent cash back based on that too. So you can start to tack that on top here. So this obviously gets interesting as we go further up in price. At three cents, it's about 13%. At five cents, if we were to match the current value of SPS, uh, at, which is roughly like five and a half cents, that's 22 and a half percent cash back. But again, uh, you can call it APR cash back, however you want to look at it, right? This is not an ongoing thing, though. This is just a one-time pool that you can take advantage of. Now, obviously, the higher up we go, the more lucrative and juicy this gets. If we go to 10 cents, 15 cents, uh, you know, you can see this rising up. Now, where is the full break even point? That's going to be roughly about 22, 22 and a half cents. So here you can see uh, if we go jump up to 20 cents, that is a 90 percent return or 90 percent cash back on the packs that you bought. So that's pretty good. Uh, what this also doesn't account for is the fact that you'll also be able to earn more GLX by staking the GLX that you get once staking goes live in November. So overall, this 
isn't terrible and I wish I had more dry powder or external capital to put into this. It's just I'm I'm just so maxed out on Splinterlands right now. But um, I, I, I wanted to share these numbers with you because I think I, I think they're worthwhile to know. And if you're considering getting in on the GLG game, well, it's nice to have 15 million tokens allocated over to you. That's that's pretty good. So um, like, I, like I've been saying, I want to grab some packs. I have been lazy about it. So I now looking at these numbers and sharing them with you, I definitely am not going to be very lazy about it now and at least grab a couple because the way I look at it, and I want to be very clear with you because I, I've said this in a previous uh, GLS video, maybe it was a Splinterlands video, I'm not very bullish short term on where the token price is going to go. And I know it's going to go, it's going to, it's going to be tough for the next six months until the game actually launches. But I do think that represents a good opportunity to just get in and grab some GLX or, or, or grab some, some stuff within the game that will give you free GLX, right? If you're not a Splinterlands player and staking SPS, for example. So, that's kind of where I'm at with this. Again, I'm curious to know when presented with these numbers, you know, we're, I, I don't like doing price predictions. We don't do price, price predictions on this channel unless I say that and then immediately follow up with doing a price prediction. But we're not going to do that today. Although I am curious where you think the value or price of GLX could go in the short, medium, long term. Again, like I said, in the short term, I'm not really going to focus much on the GLX price. I'm going to focus much more on getting the assets within uh, or just, you know, accumulating GLX tokens primarily through um, primarily through staking SPS just because I'm, I'm much more bullish on Splinterlands. But um, yeah, presented with this, this isn't bad. I mean, 22.5% APR or 22.5% cash back on your packs isn't terrible, especially if you want to play the game. So again, that's why I'm framing this not as an investment because... Again, not financial advice, but it's like uh, from a, from a cashback perspective, this doesn't seem too terrible. And if you're very bullish on where GLG the game could go or GLS the platform could go in the long term, you know that doesn't seem that doesn't seem too bad. So we'll see how things play out. Obviously, we are still very much in the depths of a bear market, but I wanted to share these numbers with you. Otherwise, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I will catch you all in the next one, and I will see you around the game. Take care.